uh, Miss Julie here with your uh, core curriculum video. Today we're going to work on side and back falls. Uh, for Jiu Jitsu, probably the most fundamental skill and the skill you work on from day one is always going to be falling. The more confident you are at your falls, the more relaxed you can be, the more uh, relaxed you'll be in everything else you can do, and, um, and the safer you'll be if you're ever in a self-defense scenario. So, as I said, side and back falls. Uh, the biggest key to falling is, of course, not slamming your head onto the surface, so you want to make sure you really focus on keeping your chin tucked. Second key in sport jujitsu to falling is making sure your legs don't slam together. Um, you can break kneecaps, you can herniate things. Um, so you really want to make sure that your form is all about your safety, and that's really what we're going to focus on. If you're a novice faller, you're going to start squatted, so you're really low to the ground, and as your skill goes up, you're going to raise up and even get to what we call very dynamic falls where you practically throw yourself. So for a back fall. Um, the key is to disperse the energy um, to hit at the safest points and to disperse the energy with your arms. So we're going to squat down and you want to hit from hips to shoulders, keeping your chin tucked and smacking your arms out at a 45 degree angle, palm down, fingers together. Relax your stomach muscles so you let your legs fall nice and smooth. So again, starting from a squat, just fall straight back. Both hands are going to come out. Um, key for safety on your arms is you don't want to brace your arms as you're being thrown. And if you get, um, if you get a little nervous or worried about that, I like to hold on to myself. Even sometimes in throws, I let my arms slide across my partner's back so that I know I'm not bracing it out first as I'm going down. Alright? So, as you get a little bit more confident, you go from standing, but it works exactly the same way. Fall down and be nice, relaxed. A side fall. You're going to bring the leg of the side that you're falling to in front of you and fall hip to shoulder, keeping the opposite leg up so that that knee is separate from this one. So I should land all the way on the ground on the side I fell to. In this case, that's my left side and my left arm hip. One more time, going across and smacking as I fall. When you go moving to standing, bring the leg across from standing, you still want to hit hip first and come all the way down. So as you move to the other side, it literally is going to work the same way. Go across and smack. And from standing, foot goes across. Alright, you can uh, obviously rewatch this video as many times as you need to, but just keep working that as you work your falls. Thanks so much.